above ground pool opening instructions. Begin by siphoning the water off of your cover. If using an electric sump pump, place a frisbee or similar object between the pump and the cover. Carefully remove any debris off of the cover. Disconnect and remove the cover cable from the ratchet. Remove any cover clips and water tubes. Remove the cover slowly. Try not to get any water or debris that may be on your cover into the pool. Remove the pillow by detaching the string. Deflate the pillow. Remove any leaves or other debris from the pool with a leaf net. Expect the water level to be low. This occurs due to ice and water displacement. It is important to bring your water level to half skimmer. This will be its normal operating level throughout the entire pool season. Check your pump, skimmer, and filter to be sure they are in proper working condition. Install your pump on the base with two pump mounting screws. Connect the ground wire. Set your filter on the base. Be sure to check that all O-rings are lubricated and not worn out. Now, connect the union between the pump and the filter. Connect your filter hose from the skimmer to the pump. If you have a chlorinator, connect your return hose from the filter to the chlorinator. Then, connect the return hose to the outlet. Make sure all hose clamps are tight. Be sure to tighten the lid cover on your pump. Remove the winter plug from the return fitting using the removal tool and then remove the aqua door or ice plate from the skimmer. Be sure to tighten the screws on the skimmer with a number three Phillips head screwdriver. Install the eyeball return fitting. Make sure the fitting parts are fully assembled before installing. Once installed, remember to aim the fitting downward. Install the skimmer basket and skimmer weir. If you have a deck, install your ladder into the deck flanges. or install an A-frame. Install drop-in stairs by first placing sandbags into the stair unit, lower the stairs into the pool, and then insert the handrail into the deck flange. Make sure that all of your electrical connections are grounded and test your GFCI. Turn on your filter system. If you have a DE filter, add the required amount of DE. Refer to the side of your tank for the amount of DE needed. Expect to bump the filter several times during the first 24 hours of operation. For more information on operating your DE filter, please view DE filter operation in the next chapter. If you have a cartridge filter, be sure the cartridge is installed. For more information on operating your cartridge filter, please view cartridge filter operation in the next chapter. If you have a sand filter, Make sure your drain plug is in the tank. Make sure that your filter tank is properly filled with filter sand. We recommend replacing your filter sand a minimum of every two years. Backwash the filter. Shut off the pump. Move the valve handle to the filter position and turn the pump on. Do not vacuum your pool for 24 hours. You should now add all of the chemicals from your teddy bear opening kit. It does not matter what order you are adding them, as long as your filter is running and they are added separately. Bear Clear Clarifier. This product will help the filter remove fine contaminants from your water. 
Walk around the perimeter of the pool slowly when adding the chemicals to the water to assure a more even distribution. Bear algae out. This is a broad spectrum, non-foaming algicide used to inhibit algae from growing. Add directly by walking around the perimeter of the pool surface. Bear shock. This chemical kills bacteria and algae. Fill a plastic bucket with water. Then add bear shock and stir it with a wooden stick. Add to water by walking around the perimeter of the pool, pouring slowly to avoid splashing. If any shock remains on your pool bottom, brush it until it dissolves. Do not use your solar blanket on the pool for 24 hours after adding shock to your pool. Let the opening chemicals circulate throughout the pool for 24 to 48 hours. Clean your cover with Teddy Bear Cover Cleaner to prevent sticking, mildew, algae, or unpleasant odors. Fold the cover and store in a Rubbermaid 20 or 30 gallon tub with a lid. It should not be stored in a shed or garage where ants or mice may destroy it. Bring a water sample to the store for analysis. Please utilize our free water test bottle or use a clean plastic container. Do not use empty chemical containers. Also, bring a list of the chemicals that you have at home. Each spring, you should replace any solutions in your test kit. Water balance is critical to your pool, plumbing, and water health. You'll have safe, non-corrosive water, and your pool will need less maintenance. Remember to always read and follow label instructions on pool chemicals and products.